The parsha that we get to study this week is the parsha of Noah. Many, many great stories occur in Noah. We have some of the most famous, famous incidents of the entire Torah found in our Torah reading of this week. We read, of course, of the flood. We read of Noah's preparations and of his world-famous ark with all of the animals. We read about the aftermath of this incredible destruction and the toll that it took on our hero, Noah. We read about his descent into a life of being a one who cultivates vineyards, grows wine, and falls victim to some of the enticements of that wine, especially in the context of being in a post-apocalyptic, post-destructive era. Later on in the Parsha, we read about the Tower of Babel, Migdal Bavel. We read about those who rebelled against God in the most serious of ways and attempt to reach him with a capital H, to wage war with him, as it were, testing the limits of human accomplishment and capability against the ultimate control of God, of the divine. And of course, amidst all of this, we read about the future furthering of the generations of the Jewish people, of all humanity for that matter, the generations that link Noah to our ultimate forefather, Avraham Avinu, Abraham, and how we got to that point and how quickly Jewish history and world history evolve and unfold before our very eyes.